everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good week. So you got a GoPro here, wait, 9, 10, or 11, and you're not uh, like in the Himalayas or uh, snowboarding on the half pipe with a skateboard or something. You just got the GoPro here in the office and your webcam on your laptop stinks. So we're gonna show you how to use your GoPro as your webcam. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and drop down to the screen here and, and before we get started, all you need is a USB-C cable. This is a USB-A to USB-C. If your computer is USB-C only, you get your cable. There'll be links to everything in the description. If you have the GoPro Media Mod, which the video right here shows you me unboxing that, You'll need an HDMI, mini HDMI to a standard HDMI, and what's called a capture card. This is a USB capture device, USB on one side, HDMI on the other. You can use that. So what we need to do, this is on Windows 11, this works on Mac OS as well. So we're gonna open up the browser and we're gonna to go to community.gopro.com. And what we need to do, we need to drop down to this little button right here says apps. We'll click it. We're gonna go over here to GoPro webcam. We're gonna click it. Like I said, links to everything in the description. And they have a forum here. They have software updates and everything. We're gonna go to the trending article of how to use your GoPro as a webcam. They have the instructions here for the Mac and they have it for Windows, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna download the application and we're gonna to go to the GoPro webcam desktop utility. Now this is Windows 10 or Windows 11. We're gonna go up here to the top where it says download. We're gonna download it. It only takes a minute, it's a very small application. We're gonna open the file. And we're going to install this thing and we'll go next. Next, install. Now it's going to want to install a GoPro network adapter and finish. Now it's going to want you to restart your computer, so we're going to do that right now and be right back. Okay, got it turned on. Hopefully you can see this. There is the USB symbol, USB connected. Make sure you plug it into a USB 3 port and, and just makes everything better. Straighten you up. All right, I'm gonna go down here on the screen recording. Move myself over to the other side because I screwed this up before. All right, we're gonna go down here and go to the GoPro app. It's always down here in the system tray. There's GoPro webcam. We're gonna right click on it. And it's gonna give us the preferences. And there's the UHD 620. And you can tell it's connected. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It's a little blue dot next to it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the preview. Let me minimize that right there. And when you get the preview going, grab it, there we go. Let's grab it. All right, now when you get the when you get it going, it's gonna say webcam there or webcam right there. So they did a good job, they let you know what's going on. So as you can see, pretty good image. I mean GoPro can't beat them except for like a Sony up here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the app and the little dot's red on there now, we're gonna right click and go to lens mode. And that gives you four different lenses. Gives you super view, wide, linear, and narrow. We're on narrow right now, we're gonna go linear. Now what it's gonna do, it's gonna pause for just a second while it's switching the lens and software and that gives you a little bit bigger view. 
Now you can do this one or the narrow with the webcam. I wouldn't do, because if you go, let's go super view. This one will show the whole office. Although that's a pretty cool view. It's got that fish eye look to it and everything. And that's not bad. I mean, it's not a bad view. I mean, you can see Ryan up here. That's, that's a cool shot. Um, so yeah, let's go back to uh, narrow. Got to pause for just a second, and here it is. Uh, I've been using this software since it came out in alpha. I mean, it's been a long time, been a bumpy road, but so far, the only problem I have found with it is it does not work if you're running Cisco VPN. The network adapter for the camera and the network adapter for VPN, just they collide. I haven't figured out a way around that yet. But if you are just using a webcam as a webcam, it works great. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you here, the integrated webcam, this is a Dell laptop that I got off eBay. And here is the webcam image on the in integrated webcam. It's normally a lot smaller than that, but I stretched it a little with microphone that's on the laptop. Um, not horrible. When you go back to the GoPro, it looks a whole lot better. Now I am using a wireless microphone. This is a Hollyland Lark M1. Uh, going to do a little post-processing with it. Uh, sounds, sounds pretty good. You know, it's not a sure SM7B or anything, but it's, it's all right. And then if we go back to my Sony, There's my Sony camera, this is my ZV-10 using the same microphone, and it's got a good image too, but the GoPro ain't no slouch. I mean, it, and this GoPro's getting kind of old. I mean, but still, that's a good image. Put it right here in front of you. And one of the things about the GoPro webcam, it works with Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, uh, WebEx, First of all, I'm going to show you what it looks like in Teams here. Let me get Teams started up. What you do, you go to the, and this is Microsoft Teams, you go to More and Device Settings, and you can choose your speaker, your audio devices, microphone. You come down to Camera, and GoPro webcam shows up. It does this in Meet, it does it in Teams, Zoom, the whole bit. We're gonna hit GoPro webcam. And hopefully it will show up. All right, and there it is. So we got the GoPro webcam in Teams. Looks a whole lot better than the integrated thing. And if you have an extra microphone now, I, I suggest get a USB microphone or a, a wireless or, or a lavalier mic, um, something like that. And then when you present yourself, you sound better and you hopefully look better. I don't, but and you want to look at the camera and really try to present yourself well. That's, that's the thing about it. But yeah, that... Uh, I didn't do anything to the image. That's just stock right out of the GoPro. So leave that. Okay, so that's your GoPro webcam in Teams. Uh, it works as well as anything else. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it works well in um, FaceTime, the whole bit. I forgot to mention, open up the GoPro app on your phone connect to it, it's the Quick App, Q-I-K. Make sure that your GoPro has the latest and greatest firmware installed on it. That's the software that runs the camera. And uh, that's about it. Works great, and you can use it instead of it just sitting on the table. So there you go. 
Anyway, I hope y'all get something out of this. Leave me a comment. Leave me a question. If you use the GoPro as your webcam, let me know. Is it good? Bad? Don't care. It just, it's up to you. I just want to know. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And if you're over on the Rumble, rumble.com, look me up. All my videos are on there. Subscribe, follow, like. Give me a comment over there, too. But uh, that's about it for today. I hope everybody's had a great day and a great week. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching. Cameras, cameras, cameras. <laughs>